Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at is creating our folder structure for our simple scene in Unreal Engine 5. If you found this useful, please do like, subscribe, and maybe comment, because it helps me get up the lithogram in YouTube, and obviously shows me that you're interested in learning a bit more, and it keeps me going. And um, so, what we looked at previously was the how to... Uh, navigate around the interface what each of these little buttons does and things like that to hopefully get you a bit more comfortable in um certain areas of it because it can be a little bit overwhelming at first but in reality it's it's not that complicated um the sort of the basics of of this aren't that you know um aren't that complicated so um what we're going to look at is how to create our folder structure of basically where we store stuff, things like that. Um, you may notice that I've got my content browser locked here, so I'll show you how to do that. So I'll just close this. So if we hit control space, that brings this up, and you've got this dock-in layout. So click the dock-in layout, and that means that's always going to stay there. You can then change your icon size here, uh, thumbnail size, so we can make it bigger if we want, or, you know, smaller. Um, I'm going to keep it about here so you can see what I'm typing. So... What we're going to do is we're going to right, um, make sure that we're in the root here. Right click, folder, and we'll just name it simple scene. Now, uh, you'll notice here that by default these um, files that come in with this project, this is our project, are out, out, you know, uh, are in their own unique things. They're not all under one folder. Um, I'm doing it how they do uh, when you submit to the things to the marketplace. They ask you to do it in a specific way, and what they'll do is they'll say, "Can you put all?" If all everything's related to your assets or your project inside of a folder rather than in the root like this is. The reason being that is if you're working on this simple scene, you spent hours on it, and then you buy something off the asset store. So say you buy my city pack off the asset store. If it wasn't everything wasn't in a self-contained folder, so simple scene and then city pack was another folder, what could happen is that, say for instance, some of my materials or textures could replace your materials or textures if they've got the same name and it can cause absolute you know, havoc in your project. So you know, you could end up losing days of work um, because it wasn't you know, put in a folder. And again, this is how they require to be submitted on the marketplace, so I assume this is how good practice for what they want. So inside of our simple scene, we want to just set up a few folders, so right click again, um, we're going to materials, um, blueprints, maps, textures, um, oh, meshes, and particles we might look at particles we might not depending on how you know i don't want i don't want you to get too overwhelmed with all of this um you know so we'll just keep that there anyway and inside the materials folder we're going to put one called master um what i do is that you have material instances we'll like i'll explain that as we um and how to create a simple one etc and then we'll build that up as we as we need more features with it um but what happens is you've got your an instance of material, so that, that allows you to basically control parameters inside of the master material. I think in the next uh, tutorial I'll show you how to, to create a simple one. And then I put the master material inside a master folder and anything that doesn't require an instance. So it might be that you only use the material once, and um, so you know there's no point instancing it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so... This is just, as I say, this is the, the create where we'll be looking at how to add... Um, what each of these things like what a blueprint is what you know a material instance is particles textures how we use that etc what format they should be in how they should be named and um, things like that as we go along um and i'll as again i'll be providing you with assets and that that are used within this project so don't worry about that um so yeah this is the uh setting up the folder structure um again make sure it's in the root and so that's over here um and again just to quickly show you there if you want to do this hit control space bar dock in layout and this just makes it easier for to follow along rather than constantly hitting control space and then it disappears and you might not see why i clicked on it etc so if you find this helpful please do like and subscribe and cheers and move on to the next bit